Hi, so for this uh, film review, I did it on The Killer Inside with uh, Aaron Hernandez. Um, who are the main characters in the film and what is their relationship to one another? So, of course, the main person is Aaron Hernandez. Um, we're looking at him through his, throughout his trial. Um, his brother-in-law, Odin, the person that he killed, um, Shania, his wife, and his two friends from uh, Connecticut. When the film begins, how do we know the main character is happy, normal, stable? Well, we see him <clears throat> working um, on his football career on the Patriots. Um, he was able to play two years on the, on the Patriots before he was convicted. He actually killed um, his brother-in-law um, a year after he started in the NFL. So um, he actually played a whole year in the NFL before he was um, convicted of the mur murder. Um, he was just a public figure um, in everyone's eyes. So he was a superstar. He had lots of money. He was very happy. Um, for the most part, besides his second life, of course. Um, here are what does the main character want? Um, so he really just wants a normal life in the NFL. He wants to keep being a superstar and a well-known name. Um, he is gay. Um, he did, They did show that he might have had a second life um, with some other male partners. Um, not sure how much of any of that is true, um, but it sure seems to be. Um, so I think he just really wanted that and to be innocent, of course, to not um, get convicted um, of the murder and the gun charges. Um, what traumatic scene caused the character to become deviant? Well, because he was leading that second life, um, his brother-in-law actually found out about it and he confronted Aaron about it and basically said that he needed to tell his wife or he was going to tell her because it was his sister. Um, and Aaron was not going to let that happen. He did love his wife, um, but he did um, like or love these other men as well. So he was threatening his whole life, not only his home life, but his professional career. Because if it got out that he was gay, that would not be good for him because he's an NFL player. Um, and that's not really um, a place where gay gayness is really that accepted yet. Um... So yeah, once he was his whole livelihood was threatened, that's what caused him become to become deviant and murder him. Um, what mindset or philosophy did the character develop to deal with their depression? So he basically just buried himself in his work being the NFL star. Um, he didn't um, really turn to anything else that to, as to my knowledge, but he was um, just burying himself in football. Um, just trying to keep his normal life for as long as he could before someone found out or if he thought anybody would find out. Um, applying some of the psychological studies to that, um, I found this really good quote um, because he was bullied and abused severely as a child. Um, and one of the articles speaks about that um, as to what bullying can, by siblings can do to someone. Um, and it is, quote, if bullying occurs at home and at school, the risk of psychological disorder is even higher. These adolescents have no safe place, end quote. So that's how I believe Aaron felt growing up. He never had a safe place. He was bullied at school. He was bullied at home, abused at home. Um, so I think he had a lot of um, underlying psychological conditions, as well as being an NFL star. I'm sure he got several concussions. Um, I think he might have even had a traumatic brain injury because the article, like like they discussed in the film as well, but in the article um, talking about NFL um, uh, serious brain injuries, it, it is it said, quote, for instance, some people with t uh, traumatic brain injury, TBI, experience high, heightened levels of anxiety, depression, and mood swings, end quote. So if he, uh, since he had... Um, TBI, he could, he was prone to having traumatic mood swings. So when his whole livelihood th was flashed in front of his eyes by his brother-in-law, it might have triggered a mood swing in Aaron and just, he might have snapped and killed and killed him instantly, which he did. Um, and then he might not have realized exactly what he was doing at the moment, but afterwards he may have, uh, well, I'm sure he did, um, realize um, his actions and how they were not good. Um, as you see in the film, they have a video surveillance from his house of him leaving the basement with um, what appears to be a gun. Um, so 
as soon as it happened afterwards, he went and tried to cover everything up because he knew he had made a big, big mistake. Um, but also another fact towards that is um, that same website, quote, 28% more are they are 28% more likely to develop bipolar, bipolar disorder as well, end quote. So um, if he had bipolar disorder, the same situation could have happened. Um, once he felt his livelihood was threatened, he could have flipped like a switch and just gone off the end. You know what I mean? So it's really hard to tell whether he really wanted to kill him or if he had one of these episodes and just acted um, without reason. Um, who are the victims of the criminal deviant? So, of course, the brother-in-law who was killed, Odin, um, but also the whole family um, of Odin's, his wife, his sister-in-law, um, the rest of their family. So, um, the whole family was grieving. Nobody was on Aaron's side besides his wife, which surprised me. Um, but she was still sitting in court by herself on Aaron's side at every trial um, date. So his wife was definitely a victim too because she got a lot of ridicule for staying by Aaron's side even after she he murdered um, her brother. So that was pretty crazy too. But yeah, there was a lot of victims of Aaron in this. And of course the partners that he had living that double life, um, they're victims as well. Um, they were brought, their names were brought through the mud um, when all of this controversy struck out too. Um, and also Aaron because... Um, of course, he did kill his brother-in-law, but at the same time, he had a traumatic brain injury, so his actions may not have been um, him acting within reason. So he could also be seen as a victim, too. Um, how does the filmmaker depict the victims of the criminal deviant? So um, they kind of go, they do a really good job of showing both sides from Aaron's aspect and his wife's aspect to the family and friends aspect. They interview tons of people um, talking about all, all of this. And um, I think that they depict the, the victims very well. Um, I think it was really cool how they interviewed both sides. And so we got both perspectives. It wasn't just a one-way um, street on that, which I found very helpful. And um, letting me make my own decision about it. Um, who were the victims and who weren't. <clears throat> Did the victims of the criminal deviant um, demonstrate post-traumatic stress or emotional disturbances after being a victim? So of course, yes, they're, they're hit with extreme depression. They lost a, a loved one, a family member. Um, of course, his, sister, uh, his wife, I would say, is, was the worst off because she wanted to stay by her husband's side. But at the same time, his, her brother was dead. So she was stricken with grief and um, distraught because not only did her brother die, but her husband is the one being charged with the crime for it. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say she had a lot of depression and I'm sure anxiety about everything and all the media she was around, people trying to talk to her and interview about it. Um, but according to the scientific articles of, in lectures, what are some other courses of action the character could have taken um, instead of being a criminal deviant? So maybe if he had gotten help, like a lot of people say in the, in the articles that I was reading, um, if he had gotten more help for his TBI or had gotten, um, if he did have bipolar disorder or um, mood swings, maybe gotten on some medication to help with them, um, like a lot of other NFL players do once they retire. Um, so there's a lot of different things that he could have done. Um, but of course, as a man in the NFL, he doesn't, he didn't really want to, um, reach out for help because he probably would have felt weak like most men, um, and many other, um, reasons I'm sure he had to, or he just may not have realized how bad, um, his symptoms really were until he committed the crime. Um, but yeah, it was a really interesting documentary. I really enjoyed it. Um, I had always wondered what really happened in that case because it was such a public case. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.